Happy Labor Day weekend, everybody. We are mowing. It is Sunday. It is insanely cloudy. It was supposed to rain all day, and uh, one app said it was supposed to rain all day. Another app said it was going to rain the first half of the day. And we woke up this morning. I told the boys to meet me at the local diner, and I'll buy them breakfast, and then we'll get on with our day. And uh, to our surprise, it rained all night, and the rain has now gone. It's a 15% all day. So we're knocking them out, and we're on this here commercial. So let's get to it. Conrad on the V-Ride 1 mowing this section over here down in this little valley that goes right through here we got Billy on the Walker MT doing the whole front section over there with the 56 inch side discharge deck taking care of that whole front these flower beds a couple times a year they have us weed them out we weed them out and sprayed them and that, all that stuff still came back it's been a few months but it's all come back now now we got Max pulling up his pants over here on the V-Ride 2 and he's knocking out this big section here. Those stripes there are pretty prominent, but on occasion we've mowed this a couple times at different angles, but the company that had this account for years before us, they just mowed the same way every single week and uh, just really beat it in there. So if you try to go another way, one, it doesn't cut even, and two, you just, <laughs> it beats the heck out of you, you bounce so much. But we only do this big section, the small strip across the front, what I showed you over there Billy's doing, a little section in front here, and then this section just to one pass over from these trees here. Another company does this, and another company does this huge plaza that goes way over that way. How's he doing? You guys keep an eye on him. You know how he gets him. Here comes Billy. So these two hooligans together, you know. Blind leading the blind. Okay, so here we are. I'd like to say this is commercial property number two, but we've already done a few and I didn't film the first one. So this is the third one. You guys have seen this many times. Conrad is starting on that big section out there. Max is gonna go join him. They're gonna meet in the middle. Billy is going to knock out this section over here. He's gonna do that little strip in front of the building. And he's gonna do that strip that goes right down the side all over there. Max is gonna do, there's another strip about that wide that goes down the other side of the building. Max is gonna do that and then meet up with Conrad out there and they're both gonna knock that out. And I'm on trimmer duty again. I've been on trimmer duty all day. 
I think it's gonna stay that way. I'd rather just have them mow me, trim it out, blow it off. We get out and on the next one. Now this property is just like the other one that I had explained. We usually mow it in the same pattern you see here. Every once in a while we'll start from the other side and mow it and it creates, I don't know if you can really see the stripes going at this angle, but sometimes it's not so bad mowing it that way, but usually again, super bumpy. Last company that mowed here, that's all they did. They never weed whacked, which is why I've been doing it for years and they don't have it anymore. But. Um, they uh they mowed it in this pattern that you see right here so to go the other way it just beat the heck out of you and again it doesn't cut even because you're constantly going up and down even the walker doesn't do that good of a job following all those ruts like you can kind of see connor moving up and down a little bit hitting bumps i mean that's even going this way it's a little bumpy but it's way better going this way than going the opposite direction now we got maximus over here Sorry guys, I'm just picking up lots of garbage. That's always the case on this property. You have two major roads that come into this intersection and it seems to be where people decide to clean out their cars. Every week it's been like this for years. I actually used to plow this parking lot. I used to plow this parking lot for a few years. I got a bunch of videos on snow plowing this parking lot. It's kind of funny because they, uh, a quick little story. I was plowing this parking lot and uh, it was about, I don't know, midnight, one o'clock in the morning and a car come flying through the parking lot as I was pushing snow up across the lot right up to over there by the sign. And a car come flying up behind me, cutting through the parking lot to get from one road to the next. See? to my story so i was pushing snow across the lot and a car come flying up behind me to go from one road to the next road cutting through the parking lot and uh i pushed the snow pile up and then i was backing up and i never even saw him and i threw it i threw it in reverse and i was backing up saw him at the last second i slammed on my brakes and blew out a brake line in the back of my truck and it was snowing so hard you couldn't see 20 feet in front of the truck i mean it was pretty bad so I literally drove from here 20 minutes down to my father-in-law's house where he has a barn in his lift or a barn in his lift. He has a lift in his barn and I put my truck up on the lift and I stood underneath it and ran all new brake lines. 
and then went right back to plowing snow. Soaking wet, I might add, because when I was uh, when I was putting the brake lines on, all the snow, ice, everything else was dripping down all over me. But I drove from here 20 minutes in a horrible snowstorm with no brakes. Every intersection I come up to, I had to keep dropping my plow to stop the truck. It was pretty, pretty crazy. Okay, this here is another commercial. This is the front yard here. I've showed this to you before. We don't do any weed whacking here. It's a bi-weekly. It is the only bi-weekly I have. I've mentioned this to you guys before. And they get one cut. What comes out of the deck, that's all it is. This part here, if we do leave grass, we do double cut this, but that's it. Just this one section right here. Uh, we don't do any weed whacking here, but this stuff was getting like three foot tall. And I figured since I only have three mowers, them three guys are mowing. I'll knock it down for them. They're good customers. And then this here was like three foot tall around that mailbox, same thing. And around these posts over here were the same thing that was like three foot tall. You can see my mess there from what I weed whacked down. But it's this whole area here. I got Max going on this section. Billy is over on that front section which goes up the side and around the back to a small part. I'll show you in a second. Uh, we cut this at three and a half and it's still gonna leave laying grass, but it is what it is Just take a little walk back here The bad part about this one is when you're mowing it, especially this far back section That's the section I usually do crickets jump on you like crazy So right in there, it's actually a pretty big section Billy's in there mowing with the walker and it comes around it goes over there but like i said max is out on this big section right here and this whole back section here we got conrad mowing back here so it's pretty big and then there's a little section that goes behind the barn there you guys could probably see in the camera some laying grass there not too much so this really ain't that bad Usually it leaves a lot more, but we haven't had rain in about a week and a half, almost two weeks. So, it's this whole section here. And then it pretty much ends where it goes off that way. It ends where that pine tree is right there. It's this section over here. But this back part, where Billy is here, like I said, that's where I came from. If you can see through the trees there, you can see the white, there goes Max across there, the big area. It's his backyard and that's all this over here and it goes right up where he's going now is that front yard area I just showed you.
So you've seen Billy using that power chute as he should be. Every mower we have has a power chute on it. That's the newest one that we put on that 56 side discharge deck. Um, we still haven't put the quick connect on there so that we can just take it when we swap decks and shut it off, but it's coming. So Max went from here over so far. Still gotta do that whole other half. But doesn't look bad. It hasn't been raining as much lately. Usually we got a lot more laying grass here. We, uh, in the spring when it was real heavy rains and there was a lot of it, we, uh, we did double cut just this portion because it looks so bad. Even though we're not required to, we did it anyway. Because um, it was just always so wet and it clumped up so bad no matter what machine we had. But uh, if there's just some laying grass here like this, it just, it is what it is. I've tried to uh, get them on weekly cuts for a couple years and they're just not interested. This is on the reservation, I don't think they care. Not to say anything bad about the reservation, but most people up here, their lawns look pretty bad anyway, so I guess they just don't care. <laughs> but uh, with just some laying grass, we'll leave it. If it's actually clumping, then we'll double cut it. I'm not running all the way down there with him to film him mowing, so we'll set a camera up at a later date and you guys can watch him mow that. Maybe post it at one end. It goes uphill kinda, it's kinda higher down there at that end, so maybe we'll set a camera up at a later day and uh, you guys can watch him at that point mow this whole thing or me or somebody, but not today. Of course, as I start filming, so I, I just went. We walked into the shop, just got back from dinner, and I said, fill up the bead. I said, fill up the bead blaster. And we're gonna scare the boss and Billy with the bead blaster. So, we gotta. Well, <laughs> hey, this is a family channel. Sit down, boys. Billy. 